Oh, haven't you gotten chocolate from a dude named Tony before? Where aren't the tokens loading? That sounds like a you problem. That sounds like a you. I want to see the tokens. Oh, funny enough. Oh, there, there's me, Losh. I forgot. Forgot we were I... all. I actually How do I take interact. off this year trying to attack Thank someone you? thing off my head? Too. Actually, I don't think I can interact with anything. You on Maybe the I'm not. I was gonna put five bucks in. I'm at the <laughs> inn where I nearly got an unhappy ending. Right, okay. Then right. you're on the right page. Yeah, but I can't move my token and none of the tokens have like actually loaded in. I have permission, so. I wonder if it's. Yeah, you're you know, I'm not even on the left hand side. I want to. There we go. How do I get this? You're trying to attack Tullius thing from from my head. I clicked on it. I'm I'm clicking and it's not doing anything. Okay. Maybe if I go hundreds of meters away. Main <laughs> man, the pseudo intellectual hero to the incel community. Incel being these weirdo loner men uh, who are you know, despicable in many ways. Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these you, Oh, I can uh, look at where you guys snapped a grid. Sure. How do you turn? Why not? You know, you turn your um, hold alt. People have been after alt. me for a long uh -huh. time by. Turn, you may have to close the game back out. Whee! Close it out and open it back up or um, just get off the game and then come back on. Yeah, Turian, get off the game. Mom says it's my turn to play <laughs> Tailspire. <laughs> get off the game. Bruce Willis becomes first actor to sell rights to Deep Fake Firm to create a digital twin. So this guy here. Lord. I hope that bites him in the ass. <sighs> Excuse me. You're excused. With your hands <laughs> Google Stadia shutting down next year. Oh no. I saw that. They were talking about it on the Destiny subreddit because Destiny is available on Stadia. And someone pulled the stats. And so last weekend, so every, uh, on weekends in Destiny, Trials of the Dying, or Trials of Osiris happen. They're like the end game PvP game mode, mm -hmm. right? Where two teams of three go against each other and you match make and you try to get seven wins without losing, right? Okay. Two teams of three. Uh, would you like to know the active player base on in trials on Stadia last weekend? How like five, three. <laughs> <laughs> there was little, literally enough for a singular fire team. I like to believe they're all in that fire team. They just both queue in at the same time. Like, can you just get like a series of one v one? Nash, yeah, blood. Oh, fear, fear, blood. Unable to sink Steam Cloud. We'll fucking sink it. Yeah, just fucking sink it. It's not like there's anything to really sink for Tailspire.
Yay! Oh, you're here. <laughs> you're here, knocked over. Fuck you. Magic missile. <laughs> it's my love beam. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? <laughs> Bro, he just walked up. Slowly <laughs> glared you at you and you just disappeared from existence. What the fuck? It says oh, I'm right that's, there. That's the new Dragonborn uh, racial feature. Yeah. Oh, I was recording that. Sweet. You got, you got, uh, fuck? he, he used the Dovican shout on you and you're just, uh, you're gone now. Bro, am I still there? What? My token disappeared when Milos walked oh, up slowly. I click on my token, it, or if I click on my, the little square in the top left, it doesn't show anything. What the f- Oh. He, he hit him with that, that three-word dragon shout. Kill yourself! <laughs> Power word disintegrate. Tolius is gone. Apple, you're more, you're more up on the, uh, the Elder Scrolls lore than I am. What, do you think that would be a valid uh, dragon shout? Kill yourself? Well, here's the thing with uh, words of power mm -hmm. is you're literally, I mean, uh, those feel like some powerful words. Okay, okay, so 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 here's the thing with how shouts work. Okay, is shouting is literally just dragons communicating with each other. Uh, yeah. So like, <laughs> nothing you're saying. Nothing here's the you're thing. Saying if, is, is disputing. If, my theory so far. I don't. I I think it could be possible that that could be a shout. Like a dragon hates somebody so much that they tell them to kill themselves. There I am. And do you think like with a dragon's power, you could like actually force them to kill themselves, like like a hypnotist? Hypnotist. I mean, you can force them to land. I feel like it's uh, not too out of the realm of possibility. See, but that's the the the, the well, dragon dragon rend. Here's the thing, dragon rend. It the whole thing with Dragon Ren is it is it projects the concept of mortality to the dragon, which wow. is so crippling to their psyche that it forces them to the ground. That's how Dragon Ren works. Holy like, shit! That you literally just like e bully them. Busting well, like, like, their brain. Like dragons can't comprehend mortality until you use that shout on them. Does it go away, or is it like when you teach a gorilla about mortality, and they're just like, now they just got, they're just a monkey that's got to live with it? I mean, it's just, I mean, they get, I mean, they get grounded every time you use it, so it's probably just something like, it just well, fucks like, with them so much every time you do it. But like, does it, do like, do they get over it, or do, is, are they just like constantly fucked up? Like, no, because it's a them? video game, and that's how you, and that's how <laughs> you uh, bring down the dragon. No, I want. <laughs> To talk about the psychological effects of bullying dragons in a video game, I need to know. I need to know the <laughs> long-lasting psychological damage that we are doing to these digital dragons. Fun fact: the the shout that does psychological damage to dragons is the only one made by humans. <laughs> it's a slur. <laughs> right. It's literally a slur. The uh, subjugated yeah. humans created Dragon Rend. To fight back against their dragon oppressors. I can't believe it is quite literally a slur. Holy shit. All this time. All this time. I guess you gotta like demonetize some some playthroughs. Dude, I'd be so fucking good at DMing Skyrim. Hey, Frost Troll! Great! I, I hate it! <laughs> I don't fucking understand. Why there's no there's is I've never seen like an official Elder Scrolls tabletop RPG. It would be so fucking good too. I mean, oh, okay. To be fair, you just do like D and D, but just change the lore. Oh, but oh, no, you play that. In, you play that as a physical tabletop game, right? Right. And then you know those little fuckers uh, that at like festivals you throw on the ground and they snap. Yeah. One of those gets taped to the bottom of every uh, figure to replicate the physics engine freaking out. 
So you sometimes see, you set your piece down and you just get fucking, you're just like two, two <laughs> mountains over. You see, you'd think Todd <laughs> Howard would be all over the tabletop scene because you're just releasing the same content over and over again. It just works. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. And if your shit's fucked up and it and it's like shitty, the community will just homebrew it, like with mods. Yeah, like they'll just fix it, like with with the actual game. So like, like fucking Elder Scrolls was made for this. They made the L MMO though. Is the yeah, MMO is good, good I... though? Okay, yeah, it's good. I think I've, I remember I, that okay, I did play it. Yeah, a I remember bit. hearing it was one of those ones that was like dog shit oh, on release, but then like actually got some love and care, and it's like good now. Like that's that's the the little bit I've heard of that game. I mean, it's like you go all over Tamriel there. It's awesome. What we I I. I really, Skyrim, I really want to get get it. I really want to get into Elder Scrolls Online, but I've never got that deep. Yeah. Just because it's like MMOs are like a whole thing to get into, and it's <clears> all <throat> like, eh. It's okay. We can just play Elder Scrolls Six Copium, Copium. I like that Todd. I like that Todd didn't even like fucking like try to kid ourselves. Like, yeah, this shit's gonna take a while. Like, we ain't even thinking about it until Starfield, and Starfield's like, whenever the fuck. I thought they had a release date for Starfield now. I don't know. You think that uh, makes a difference? Initial release date is 2023, so... Never mind. You think that makes a difference? No, of course not. <laughs> I feel like that's many games right now. It's like, uh... Yeah, we gave you a time we would, we would like, have it, but fuck you. Star Wars Eclipse. <laughs> I love Star Wars Eclipse. Permanently post, well, indefinitely postponed, estimated release now to like 2027, and it's like, hmm. I think that means it's not coming out. It reminds me of this one game I kickstarted. I, I threw like ten bucks on it, so it didn't end up being a big deal. But it was like, uh. It's really cool, and you're all gonna be like a fucking course. But it was this really cool and cute uh, game where it was like a lot of like fishing and like building your own boat and stuff. It was like adorable fucking two D pixel art. It was a gorgeous. Like what they had was like gorgeous. The art style was amazing. And like after like a couple of years, they're like, yeah. So basically everything went wrong in my life, and I have no <laughs> money me. at all anymore. And I basically have to indefinitely postpone development. He said, thanks for the money, assholes. Well, hey, at least it's not the kind of people who donate money to Star Citizen. Yeah. Geez. That shit is, uh, fucked. Oh, I'll sell that. I think that's a piece of shit cosmetic. Ready, bro? Yeah, a couple of Just doing a couple things. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> doing a couple things real quick. Heavy immediately <laughs> launches TF2. I was I'm on scrap.tf. I didn't realize. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm expecting a war. He said, let me get a quick one in. Is it going to let me boot up a game while I'm in Tailspire on PC? I'm sure. I'm having no problems, apparently. 
Because the last time I, because I tried to boot up something on my deck while I had TF2 open, and the deck said no. <laughs> uh, if you just like turn your Wi-Fi off, yes, you can do it. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> I wish it was easy to. <laughs> Miss Miss Village, damn. Looks good. That one does not. Ew. Though when you're out of internet, it comes quickly apparent which games are fucking cunts about being able to play offline. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I would have loved to play some more GTA 4, but Rockstar's a dickhead. Because even though they took out the fucking multiplayer from the game, you still need an online connection to play it. Woo! Oh, okay, actually, no. no. I'm going to do you one better, Heavy. You don't actually need an online connection to play it. You need an online connection to access your save file. <laughs> that is ass, my dude. That Speed is just ass. So, so you can play the game... But you're forced to start from the beginning. You don't have access to your save file, and it's like, Ew. what? Why? Why are you like this? Just let me load my fucking save file and play the game. That's nasty. Who gives a shit if I pirated GTA Four? Who fucking cares? Just let me play it. You're making me wish I stole it. Let's see. I did download Halo Master Chief Collection to give it a try, but uh, it wouldn't boot. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Then I uninstalled it. Okay. Fair enough. You ready? Yep. I've been ready. Where have you been? I've been waiting on you guys. No, you have not. <laughs> what the hell? Yep, absolutely have. Milos so, has been ready. No. <laughs> I seem to recall you just a little bit ago saying, oh, yeah, I need a minute. I'm doing a couple things. Nope. That's not true. He's fucking with us. Just just move on. I'm not fucking oh. with anybody. Trust me. I'm a married man with two kids. Do I smell gas? If any nope. <laughs> being lit? <laughs> there is no fucking happening. Okay, well, uh -huh. here That's fair. That is entirely fair. <laughs> anymore. No fucking happening anymore. I heard the uh huh and stuff, so no fucking anymore. There you go. Boom. Thanks Boom. for the confirmation. You know, stick to no offense, but that's probably for the best. <laughs> I mean, for like oh. your own benefit. No, I mean, like for your own benefit. You're gonna you, make don't wanna know. You, you don't want a third kid. Three kids in three years? No, thank you. Yeah, see? That's what I said. See? I mean, just cross your legs, Jesus Christ, or buy a condom once yeah, in a while. Yeah, just pull Fuck out. Me. Holy shit. I don't know. Like, use your <laughs> hand for once. I'm sorry. Did I just see Heavy Santa Guy open Tailspire? Why? It's been open. I'm literally sitting mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Says the guy who opened TF2. Yes, okay, says the guy that, that opened TF2. Genuine accident, I promise. But <clears throat> Sure, just... sure, 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 sure. Okay, so let's get this thing started, guys, because yeah. it's almost nine, and I've been here. Okay. What uh, happened last time, Styx? On Dragon Ball Z. Last time... Uh, okay. <clears throat> last time... Uh, wait, wait, why am I explaining this? I usually have one of you do that. Last time on Vonimalda, we were on a cruise, and then uh, uh, we we did a magical, like, fighting things in a chest. Uh, we won some prizes. We won free massage at the sex place. Uh, uh, so we got the free massages. Uh, well, first I killed a rabbit. Uh Oh, yeah. yeah, we got the free massages. Oh, oh, Ayla got a pet mimic. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, the entire world was covered in, like, six feet of water for a little bit there. <laughs> and, uh... Florida, IRL. <laughs> no! no Florida, uh, I don't... I, I don't remember what Heavy got, so anyway. I uh, basically got, like, a spider ring because I fought a giant spider and nearly oh, died yeah, to it. Yeah, you got so. the, the glowy ring. I, I rolled like shit the entire time. It was not fun. So then they got 
Then they got a massage. Uh, then they talked to Bahumant, the one true god. And then... You want to run that by me one more time? Bahumant, the one true god. I don't know, that's kind of sus. Oh, wait, is Bahumant good or bad? I don't remember. Good. Oh, okay. He was, the, he was the whole driving force behind the the Ancient Heroes campaign. All right, you're, so you're I'm, on thin ice, though. When I'm getting out of here, when I'm getting out <laughs> This is uh, Milos doesn't talk about Bahamut enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. No, you're uh, already insufferable enough with fucking Helm. No, I'm illiterate, is the thing. Oh, yeah, but, ba but here's the difference Milos is actually good at being a worshiper, while Aston sucks. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I hear Kojo hears Aston talking about God an awful lot with Ivelda in the evenings. <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> something about them going on a missionary i don't know yeah yeah i don't know the uh so yeah they went to the spa <laughs> and God. uh yeah they talked to god and then uh well and that was it uh milos found a hot tea fling went off with that dude uh Tullius got drunk or something, I don't know. When does Tullius uh, not get drunk, let's be honest? Uh, and Ayla was there, I guess. Yeah. And that was the story. Yeah, I was there. Okay. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and catch up the uh, people that may listen or watch this, just in case. Cool. As a group, um, we have all decided that we're going to go ahead and skip the rest of the cruise. <clears throat> yes. Um, and that we're going to go ahead and make landfall uh, for Ironwood, which is ultimately where the uh, snail was going. So, um, now that y'all are all caught up, <clears throat> the cruise comes into dock in the Ironwood docks. Um, docks, I say, but really, it's just it's, you're in the forest still. Um, right on the edge, you see a large town, just completely. <laughs> well, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, I'm going to... There we go. Oh! What the hell? What am I looking at? Oh, I'm inside. Oh, I'm outside. Yeah. Hey! Macarena. Welcome to a giant land. Yo, it's that one town from Skyrim, the first one. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it no, not doesn't look anything like it. What the fuck are you talking about? No, it's got thatched roof cottages. It's got a dirt road. It's Skyrim. So. <laughs> well, yeah, but Helgen was in like a fortress, like surrounded by a. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't Helgen. I, no, it's the one, uh, out, like the first one you run to out, of, out when you leave Helgen. It's talking about the one wherever you turn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't Riverwood. Yeah, that's the name of it. It's close enough. So. Well, let's get a good look at those minis. Mm. You guys step off of the snail. Um, having completed your mission that you were asked to do while on the cruise. <laughs> this Obi-Wan Kenobi? <clears throat> and you see ahead of you, um, unfortunately, uh, it's not next month, so there's no way for me to have made a custom mini for any of these people that are in town and download them, so just for now, until uh, next time we play Vanamalda, imagine the gentlemen are wearing flannel with jeans and... Um, Suspenders. Oh boy. <laughs> and the women, um, well, you guys get the idea, right? Like mm -hmm. it's lum it's a lum lumberjack town. Um, every building, all the way to the end, basically looks exactly the same. 
as you're looking around. Uh, there are some that have signs in front of them. Uh, as you guys have come down into the town, you see that there are people who are kind of moving around, bustling, doing their thing. Uh, it's fairly early in the morning. As you guys are uh, arriving. So, um, what would you guys like to do? Where would you guys like to go? I'm going to pull control over to you guys, unless there's something else that you want to know. Uh, I guess we are going to walk forward into the city. Well met, friends. Uh, good day. This is, uh, our first time in your lovely town. Well, welcome to Ironwood. Is there something we can do to help you? Well, I guess we can point us in the direction of, you know, the essentials. Uh, you know, is there an inn anywhere around here? Uh, we got basically a type of bed and breakfast thing going on. That sounds fine with me. I was also a little curious about something. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if... Uh... So, uh, does the uh, iron lumbering work... Uh... Do you allow for some uh, freelance helping out? It seemed like something I wanted to... I'm sorry. Oh. Iron work? I believe he's talking about the, um... The Ironwood Lumber Mill. You're, oh, yeah, you're talking iron about cutting down trees. Yeah, iron lumbering. Isn't that what it is? It sounded like you said iron work there for a second. We don't no iron lumbering. Oh, well, yes, we do. We have... Our crews have head out for the morning. I like to hit it early, so that way push comes to shove, you know. End the day early. Early to rise. Early to bed, such and such. So you're saying if I get up early tomorrow, I could join in? Well, you'll need to go sign up, but absolutely you'll be able to. Well, I've got my day planned tomorrow. What about you, Talius? Tell me, uh, what is your town? Do you does your town have a drink that they specialize in? Uh, sir, it's it's morning. I, I am not seeking to drink currently, but when we have opportune time for celebrating or relaxing, I like to indulge. My friend has a bit of a problem. <laughs> Milosh, I can hear you. I have like one drink a day. That's not insane. He doesn't tell you that the drink's about a keg, but I guess it counts as one drink if you do Shut it all in one go. Shut the fuck up, Milosh. We don't really have a specialty drink. However, we do have mugs made out of ironwood. Oh my god, yes. That our drinks come in. The memorabilia like that. Good refined craftsmanship. I appreciate it. And it'll last you. Throughout what I can only assume is your travels. Well, then I very much look forward to seeing one of these mugs in person later today. Do you keep them in the gift shop? We keep them down in the tavern. If you go all the way down... You'll see people in the town throughout the day just cycling through that um, are there for nourishment and such. We have, uh, well, you know what? Tell you what. I'll just kind of give you a bit of a tour from here. Here, step, step over here, Kyle. So if you look down the way there, you can see the main huge building down there. That big building is going to be where most of us meet for food and drink and to kind of just be social. 
we got a huge kitchen down there where the ladies cook for us and everything. I say the ladies. It's not all the ladies in town. Some of the ladies in town go out and uh, cut wood. It's uh, kind of a town thing. Um, to the left down there, if you follow the path to the left at the end, you'll get to our church. Ah! Who are you in the uh, business of worshipping, I suppose? Is there a... Is the church of a specific god? Well, depends on the person. I guess that's fair. We literally have people here who worship wood. Well, I mean, I suppose I can't blame them. The wood here is uh, quite exquisite from what I've heard so far. True. Not very and, uh, Oh, gosh, I'm in the wall. Here we go. Some of us over here wall. worship the uh, master of the hunt. Ah. Uh, give you a little thing, since your uh, friend here seems to be looking forward to cutting wood tomorrow. Um, if any of you are interested in hunting, we do have nighttime hunts that happen, since we are along the outside edge of town. Uh... I'd be real careful, by the way, where you're walking around. We have set out bear traps and different types of traps just to uh, keep the town safe. Oh, well, thank uh, you. We normally don't have very many problems. We've kind of let the uh, let the uh, beasts and creatures of the area know we own this land. But sometimes, you know, they like to uh, try and get a little bit risky with their lives. <coughs> so every so often we send a hunting team out to try and remind them that we are the superiors around here. Ah. Yes, there were quite some interesting animals and creatures and beasts that we had come to contact in our last uh, location. Well, if it came from in the forest, like it sounds like, then uh, I would not doubt it. Especially if you were deep in enough to... Uh, Get passage on a snail. Yes, we were uh, in Allura. Quite an interesting creature we ran into while we were there. But, well, it's good to hear that there is uh, a concerted efforts to keeping this town safe from those creatures. Yeah, since we're uh, down on the ground versus what they are, yes, we have to make sure we stay safe. No, of course. So... Uh, continuing this little tour real quick, on your right, if you get to the end of the path, you'll see that we've got dried meats hanging out, as well as a town garden. Uh, we've got one gentleman that tries to upkeep it. He's kind of our oldest. So uh, we try and just kind of make sure he stays busy, keep him going, give him something to do, rather. And uh, the town well is all the way down there as well. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah, thank you. Going back down this direction, you see that sign on your left down there? All the way down there. That sign is for our, well, our axes still need to be worked on no matter what. So he, he fixes them up, makes them like new. Going back down, you see that lady over there standing building in front of the building that has a sign? Yes. Uh, she will be the person you need to talk to about a B&B. All right, then. Uh, and that little sign behind her is one of the B&Bs. What's this building immediately here with the sign? Now, that is our store. Oh. Yes. Even okay. though we all pretty much know each other, we still have people such as yourselves that travel through and uh, tourists and such that want to see what the Ironwood is all about. Of course. And, um, well, that there is for people that need to uh, purchase whatever they may need to purchase. Oh. Um... For the Ayla, is there anything in particular you're looking for? I was probably gonna like wander uh, the outskirts of the village to, at some point, just 
to, to play in the morning to see like kind of like small game and stuff is going on, kind of plants and stuff. You know, just get a, a layout for like the what's going on in the biological world here. Well, all right then. Any other things you would like to know? Obviously, our largest outport uh, is uh, Ironwood. That makes sense. And our largest import is steel. Things like daggers and such, because people, again, such as yourselves, need weapons and things, and uh, some people don't like using wooden tools, because they don't believe it's going to be it's not gonna. They don't believe it's gonna hold up. Hmm. That does unfortunately mean that the items that you may buy here, that are metal and such, are going to be at an uprise in price, though. Well, you can't shirk uh, quality. Well, I mean, we bought from out of town for this metal stuff, but oh yes, I'm sorry. If you're talking about I, the wood, then yes. yeah, you can't shirk. So, how effective are ironwood weapons? Is it is it something that was a thing, or? Well, um, you may want to go down and talk to our professional about that. I believe that they're quite well. Um, they feel much lighter to me than a normal one, and uh, that means the world sometimes. Whenever you're carrying around a heavy greatsword or something. Well, while heaviness. This has never been a problem for me, and he flexes. And I do see the advantage there. I might inquire about that. Oh my god. Well, uh... Oh, uh... That gentleman down there on the left, kind of standing on his own there, he's one of our town guards, so if you got any other questions that have to do with the town that I may not be able to uh, answer for you, he may be able to help. Or any of our uh, special, I guess, higher-ups, you could say? Yeah, you could ask them about that, too. Well, I think I'm clear on everything. Perfect. Well then, on your way, enjoy your day, and uh, welcome to Ironwood. Thank you for the friendly introduction. Anything for a guest. Oh, before you go. Oh, yes? Um, right about, uh... You know when the sun is about halfway between midday and set? Uh, yes. About mid-afternoon. Sorry. Uh, right about then is when everybody starts to kind of come back into town, get together, uh, and uh, we all kind of get together for a little meal down there near the end of the uh, end of the road. So, if any of you'd like to join. No, oh, that sounds pleasant. I think tonight's hog. Ah. A good choice. All right, DM. Mm -hmm. uh, has Milos ever had hog where he's from? Uh, not where he's from, but I believe that you guys had it. Uh, no, you guys didn't have it. Um, <laughs> no. Right, so he's no, never had you, hog. No, I don't think you've had pig. I've never had a hog. What is hog made out of? Pretty sure he's had hog, but it's not pork. Uh, made of a hog, like a, like a pig kind of thing. The uh, wild, not, not you know, made in a pinned area. And oh, a pig. Oh, it's more gamey. It's, it's. I, I believe it's better for you. Honestly, more natural. Less. Well, you don't force them to fuck. Hmm. 
you just go kill them whenever they get too big and start trying to intrude on your children's playtime. Milos has way more questions about how uh, pork and ham and hog and all this shit's supposed to work after he just said that, but he's choosing not to go any further. <laughs> the outside world is weird and he doesn't like it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh... Yeah, so we'll be there. Perfect. Well then, on your way. Enjoy your day. Unless you want to stand around and talk about... I guess... The way that... We oil our axes and such. I believe that you should go side to side, but... Kyle here says that we should go up and down on the axes. Fucking idiot. Sounds like something for Milos, potentially. I'm sure it's a riveting conversation. I mean, it really just all depends, you know? Every blade's made differently. And how you polish it is really up to the preference of you and the weapon itself. Anyway. You guys walking down? Yeah. Oh, I finally saw this person load in. All the way over there. I was wondering what lady he was talking Are about. Are you talking about that one right there? No. What the fuck? Oh, I see someone all the way down there. Jesus. Yeah, they, they didn't load in until I got close. Yeah, it takes a while. You guys are you guys have limited vision for oh, okay for player players reasons. Okay. All right. So which so what so you guys pass the, in front you guys of? pass the store right now. The store that the two guys uh, we were just talking uh, to had that that lady is the B and B lady. The yeah. one that uh, you two are standing next to is the guard. Oh. That lady there is the B and B lady, and then you guys passed the store earlier. Okay, I need to. M Milos is looking down at this lady that's about four feet shorter than him. Hello. Uh, yes, good day. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day here in Ironwood. This is our first time. Welcome. I hope you have a pleasant stay. That is our goal, at least. I would hope so. Seeing as you're here keep, in front I, of me. I keep peering into walls. Uh, <clears throat> yes, um, I, I at least know for certain that I am interested in securing a room for the night. And I believe my companions might be as well. Yeah, I'd like a room. For the night. Well, you're in luck. I have an entire house. Yo, hell yeah. How convenient. That's how the uh, things work around here. If you come in a group, you stay as a group. Ah. Alrighty, alrighty. I have no problems with this. Uh, tell me, uh, how much for the night? Is it going to be one person paying or multiple? I suppose we'll all pitch in. Yeah. We just need to know how, uh, how much it is so we can split it. Very well. Well. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I found Cherry 7 up for the first time in forever and I, was, <laughs> I had to grab it. Like in I forgot by how the much. I for what? Tempt it by the elixir. Yeah. I, I just I forgot how much fizz is in 7 up. <laughs> My body can't take that much anymore. Um. Well, is it just one night you're planning on staying? I believe what? it's potentially more, but uh... potentially more. But we think I'm uh, gonna assume it's more. gonna be like three nights. Yeah, probably at least a couple. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to uh, narrow it down so that way I can figure out. Uh, Kind of what what we're looking at 
maybe I can cut you a deal on on days, depending on how many you're going for. All right then. So two, three. I have three for now. Three sounds like a safe bet. And are any of you planning on working while you're in town? Or the town? Uh, Milos raises his hand. I would also find a way to contribute to the town while we're here. I just want to study plants and stuff myself. That's part Iron of the is a You're plant. welcome to do whatever you would like. If uh, you plan on working for the town, however, then that means I need to make sure I get you a uh, visa. Even if it's just a temporary one. Ah. <clears throat> Need to make sure all names are covered in the instance of a tree falling on people or anything. Make sure everyone comes out at least. No need to worry. If a tree fell on me, I'd catch it one arm. Ironwood? Milos, I don't think that is going to work out. Trees are hundreds of feet tall. I'd catch, he'd catch it but one look arm. look at these, and he and flexes. Two milliseconds later, would be crushed and dead. <laughs> <laughs> Makes contact dead next second. <laughs> you can't doubt that I would hold it up long enough for you guys to get to safety while I heroically sacrifice myself. Milos, I feel like it'd be hammering a nail into wood. You just go straight into the ground. We definitely need to get you a visa. So, <laughs> I love the enthusiasm, though. It is quite... Fascinating I mean, the, how uh, it, a lizard folk such as yourself has such enthusiasm with your own body. It is quite a nice one, I will admit, but uh, typically you lizard folk aren't quite shaped like this, so it's it's just interesting as, to me. As she says that, uh, he does the thing where you know you like you where you like aggression. All right, she, so when she says that, he does the thing, you know, like you know, buff guys do when like they flex each individual tit. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does that. Oh. oh. Thank you for noticing. Um, whoa. Anyway, <clears throat> but... She kind of kidding <laughs> herself real quick. The, uh... uh totally is just rolling just... his eyes. <laughs> um, so, obviously cutting down trees for you, and, uh... Gentleman with the blue, uh, all over your face... No, 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 that's, that's, that's covered up. I just didn't put that on the model. Oh, no, okay, all right, sorry. Yeah, because I'm, suppo <laughs> I'm supposed to have Be hiding it. Yes. Okay. Gentle, uh, y and you, sir, then. <laughs> yes, yes. So, oh, Gentlemen God, without accent. the blue on your face. <laughs> why, are you, why are you blushing so blue? Usually it's red or purple. I have weird blood. Anyways, <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> out uh, of character all blood there. Is blue, all blood is blue until it touches oxygen, actually. Tully just wipes off some sweat from his forehead, and it's just a big blue mark now. No, no, no. I'm smart about how I do things. Anyways. Well, I heard that there was a uh, elderly gentleman in the garden on uh, over by the tavern that may be in need of assistance. Oh. All right, well, if you're going to go help Julius, I guess. I will probably find other work. I may help with uh, the... Uh, Ironwood as well. Perhaps tomorrow. Well, um, I'll just go ahead and get you a visa anyways, just to be safe. Fair enough. Never know when you stub your toe on a pumpkin or something. Ha! I would hope my steel-toed boots would be enough, but I can understand. These may be like ironwood pumpkins. And since you're just going to be researching around and enjoying your time here, then I'm not going to push you for a visa. But if you do plan on working, please let me know. I'll do. So, with that in mind, and you is it two days or three days? I need to know that real quick. Three. Three, yeah. Three days. All right, perfect. Well, then. <laughs> Let's do... Tell you what, I'll cut you guys a deal. You, 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 all three of you here, you seem like a nice crew. 
Very friendly. And different from the other crews we've had come through here before. So, I'm gonna cut you a deal. Since it's the ho whole house the three of you are staying in, which is perfect, because I have... Well, actually... <laughs> Funnily enough, the one that's right here by my house, uh, with the sign in front of it, actually, <laughs> has has three uh, cots set up in it uh, right now. That would save me a bit of heartache, having to move things around if the three of you wanted to move in there for the next three days. And, um, well, to put it quite simply, I think that uh, three days, three of you, plus the visas, let's say 35 silver, does that sound good? Good to me. Yes, I agree. And if you can't pay it up front, then I perfectly understand. You're staying here to do work as well. So, how about this? Ten silver up front. I can agree on that. Yeah. Wait, is that per person or just? No, I no, that's total. Okay, total. Okay, okay. I just wanted to know for my math. No, 10 silver total up front, and then uh, the other 25 whenever you check out. All right. Very well. Uh, I'll, throw, I'll throw four, you guys throw three and three. Sounds like a plan for now. Rest assured, we will not leave before paying our debts. I trust you won't. Fair Don't not. Worry about it. I will pay off the hotel and more. All right, I've by taken working, the silver out. By chopping off. <laughs> oh, I'll redo that one. I'll, I'll pay off the hope. Wake up, honey. New bottom surgery just dropped. <laughs> oh. I'll pay uh, off the I, hotel. I, 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 see, I see now why the sword is bloody. <laughs> oh. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I just saw blood and thought to blame Ayla, but... All right. Fair not. I'll pay off the hotel and more by <coughs> by all the ironwood I gather. You know, it'll pay off the hotel easy. Well, you, B and B. But, well, yes. I mean, you will get paid for the work you do while you're here. That's part of the reason the the visa is a, is a fee. But anyways, all right. Uh, she scribbles in her book. Um, I need I need names actually before I <laughs> before I continue and accept your payment. Um, uh, a a, a la... yep, a y l a. Uh huh. Is that that that's your whole name? Just one name? Yep. Oh. Odd. All right. Oh, I'm. I, I was born out on the plains. Uh, the last names didn't weren't, weren't like it, it, it was worthless to have a last name. Very well. Tolius Merbor, ma'am. Tolius Merbor. Yes. Born by a mare. Bore, not born, Ayla. Thank you for the joke, though. No, he bore the mare. I have at least helped out one horse uh, give birth. Very well. Um, and you, lizard gentleman? Uh, Milos, uh, well, first Milos says his almost unpronounceable full name, and then says, you can call me Milos for short. Okay, you're another one-name person? Well, I mean, I, I do have a last name, but do you need a last name for legal reasons, or...? Is it... it uh, I'm not trying to be any kind of racist or anything here. I'm just trying to be... Is it, is it originally pronounced in a language that maybe is, like, a lizard folk language I don't understand? Uh, yeah, lizard folk. Let's go with that. Yeah, lizard folk. <laughs> Very well. Um, I'm not going to worry about it, then, because I'm going to botch the... Uh, a translation that if there even is one so Ayla, Tolius and Milos perfect so I will yep. say out of character I mean I guess technically if she's uh, fluent in draconic she could uh, give a perfect pronunciation and no she is not she is human and uh, she I knows speak, common 
I speak five languages, but Draconic is not one of them. Ooh. How are you going to talk to dragons? Uh, Milos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> there, what? We're not supposed. There aren't supposed to be dragons currently. Yeah, I'll remember that whole <laughs> out of character now. Remember that whole <laughs> the portal opening up, <laughs> the two dragons after there, many eons of dragons not being. Yeah, the whole thing was out of character. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. He wasn't. Okay. He was not using Milos's voice. I will give okay. him that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I speak common, druidic, elvish, goblin, and sylvian. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's a range. Celestial, common, and halfling. What the fuck are these? I do this to myself, though. Yeah, I get common from it, having a pulse. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <just> <laughs> literally everybody. <laughs> druidic from being a druid. Elvish from being an elf. Goblin from being a ranger. And Sylvan from being an outlander. Actually, <laughs> They all think... actually come from different things, too, is the best part. <laughs> I don't think I... Tinku get common. I think they just get to mimic. Yeah, they, I... technically, they technically don't get common, but they can like they can just like repeat common, right? And they have knowledge of what it means. But... Yeah, I have common, draconic, and goblin. <laughs> well, there's a wide range here. I guess a seven up shot through me, so give me like thirty seconds to go pee real quick. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Oh no, Todd did it again. Oh no, what Todd uh oh, what, Howard. Yeah, what Todd Howard do now? You released Skyrim again. Again? On was what? On Samsung Samsung fridge? Uh, you know, he released it on GOG. What is that? It's a it's a game that- purchasing website. It's yeah. like the the biggest competitor to Steam overall. That is okay. another fucking platform you can play uh, Skyrim on. I guess I gotta buy it. So, um, here is the key. Oh, Would you. you like for me to kind of show you around it, or do you want to find uh, find it out yourself? Kind of get an get an eye on it and walk around for yourself. We can walk around ourselves. Yeah, it's a. It's a it's a building. It can't be that complicated. You Unless know. you you, yeah. have you, you need to spend it. your time on that. Just so uh, the three of you know, you might have seen as you've walked uh, through town here. Uh, each building has its own stack of iron wood to burn, burn in your fireplace Fire. in case you decide that it's a little too chilly. Okay. Yeah, I, it feels like iron wood. Is it? They probably like burns for like a long time. Is it's like very long. Yes. Yeah. Well then, uh, enjoy your stay. Uh, let me know if there's anything that three of you need. And uh, I mean, this is basically what I do for the town here. So enjoy your stay. Thank you. Oh, I can't go inside. Not my home. Oh, which, I thought that was... Is, which one's ours? The one that has oh, the open door so... now. 
Uh. Oh, I see. Why can't I move Tolius anymore? Are you moving you the something? Guard? No, the guard was I've, moving. I've done literally nothing. <laughs> I can't move Tolius. I can't click on him. He doesn't even oh, have the a little... bedroom slot. Oh, I bet I know why. There we go. How do I how do I make Elias. it so the roof isn't showing? I want to be able to look. I got it. Now. Yes. Elias. Oh, before you before you go in, the guard grabs your shoulder. Uh. Okay. And he leans in and whispers in your ear. There's a board inside that building. Make sure you use it tonight. Are you going to be more clear about clear what about that what board that looks board like? like? Or what we're supposed to be... Because I imagine there's a lot of wooden boards in here. It's the only one not mounted down. And what are we using are we it for? It should be obvious when you get in there. Okay. okay. And then he just kind of pats your shoulder and. Anyways, good morning. Have a good day. I'll be walking around if you need anything. All right, Tolis is gonna look around and say out loud, say out loud. "Am I being punked?" I'm being punked. Also, someone's echoing. Okay, so you guys want to see inside? I can see inside, actually. I don't know why you can, because uh, I didn't give you guys access. Uh, I can move the... It's not locked for me. Oh, no, I can just move the height. It's literally supposed to be locked for all of you. The green one's locked, but the white one on the right side of the of the I'm, slider is not. Green's not so locked can, for me. I can move the white. I'll, I'll, put, yeah, it, I'll white, put it back. Uh, white's it's not screen, actually locked. The camera. It's not actually locked. I can, it's, it says it's locked. There's a little lock symbol on it. I but it's not it's active. Oh, I can still move it even when it is locked. What the fuck? Yeah. That's weird. Let me... Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, well, Tolius is gonna start looking for that board. Okay, roll an investigation check. Oh yeah. How do I? Uh, how do? Oh, there it is. And hold on. Okay. Fourteen to. Oh, it's just fourteen. Okay. Um, with a fourteen. Uh, you 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 very obviously find it. Whenever you walk into this uh, living quarter area, mm -hmm. directly by the front door is a set of three oh, boards. Oh, I see it. And next to that, you can see there are two latches, one on each side of the door. Okay. So I'm. Guessing he meant that oh, to. Oh yeah, put, yeah. You, you said the door doesn't open. Is you, you know like okay. the old school locks. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I, I will share this information with my uh, part party members. Okay. So I'll walk into the bedroom where they've both gone into. My friends, uh, I had an interesting encounter before uh, I walked in. One of the uh, town guard pointed out something, uh, a tool in here that we would perhaps be best to use. And, uh, hold on. Oh, Tolius Mirbo would like to close the thing. There we go. Okay. I was approached by one of the city guard, and they told me to uh, use the boards that were next to the door uh, tonight. I'm not quite certain the context of why, but I feel it may be a good uh, piece of advice to follow. 
So if uh, for some reason uh, one of us forgets, be sure to use the boards on the door. Sounds good. Okay. Well. There we go then. Oh, you're sleeping. It's like the early, it's like day. Like I know, but I wanted to see how comfy the cot was. Oh, I thought that was Apple, because I could have swore I heard Apple making the snoring noise. No, that was me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I shall uh, drop That's my backpack here that. and uh, go see what I can do for that uh, elderly man on uh, at the town garden. I suppose I'll see you all uh, later today. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, remember, I heard that the uh, meal coming in the afternoon is probably going to be a good one. I haven't had um, pig yeah, in man. a while. Well, have fun then. I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Ow. <laughs> it's just so cool. Okay. Okay. So. Um, with Coleus out, what would the other, what would you two like to do? Uh, I'd like to go start, like, uh, foraging around, kind of getting a, a scope on, like, the wildlife, the, the, the biology of the, of the ecosystem in the local area. Okay. Um, Coleus, don't go too far. Okay, sorry. Am I also a don't go too far person or uh that depends on how far you're planning on going. Oh, I just didn't know if you were gonna do someone else uh before me. No, probably just over here by like I see these trees floating in the air. <laughs> what? It it looks like there are trees floating because they're so high up. Oh, yeah, that, that, I was just trying to produce shade and stuff, make it all look like there's a huge forest and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, um... That's fine, yeah, you can... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, I'd like to keep a special eye out, because I heard him say there's, like, bear traps and shit. I want to keep, keep a special eye out for traps. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, how the fuck do I do that? Hit space. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there any way to auto add my stats or no? No. Bug. No, you'll have to do math. Said perception. Oh. <laughs> well. What was it? Oh. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, I feel like I have my I have my my wanderer feature. I feel like I should uh, excellent memory for maps and geography. I feel like I should. Uh, feel like you I also should... have a mulligan for the night. Yeah, I'll mulligan. I don't want to walk into a fucking bear trap. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, there uh, we go. Wait, what? It... That's a one, isn't it? Yeah, that's two nat ones in a row. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm rolling a different direction. That direction is cursed. You may now no longer roll south. Oh, okay. that's better. What 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 was your plus for perception? Perception is that's a plus four, so that's twelve. Okay, twelve, cool. So Hopefully um, enough not to step in a fucking bear trap immediately. No, you're good. Uh, you walk out. Uh, you can easily see, right. Uh, Trying to remember how to. Oh. 
Well, that's how I do that. Okay, cool. So you do what? Nothing. Uh, you can easily see the tree ahead of you. There's a, a uh, trap with a chain on it. Oh, shit. Pulling it to the tree. All right, I'd like to avoid that. Yep. That's why I kind of like go around, like kind of take a look at the trees and like the plants that are growing. And oh, I see a trap right there. I wonder, does it activate in this game? Oh. No, I, and I can't. There. I, I can't that, like, do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Well, kind of like small game, just like yeah, dude, like druid shit, ranger shit. I'm, gotcha. uh, both of those. Kind of get okay. a good, a good, good like idea of like what's around in the. Milos, what you doing, bud? Well, the lumberjacks are still out, so I can't really hang out with them. Uh, is there any, are there any like town amenities that would interest him? I think on what there might be. Uh. Um, for Milos, I mean, he's been doing a lot of uh, stuff on the cruise ship. This town, comparatively, um, the lumberjack work is really kind of a big deal, and maybe a hunt at night if he wants to be included in that. But there's not really much else I can think of he would really want to do. He's going to have to kind of find his own adventure during the daytime. Unless he wants to go along with Tolius or, uh, or Ayla. Uh, I like to roll to investigate adventure. Okay. Hold on. I gotta remember how to roll dice. Space. Space, and then the dice will pop up. Gray face, no space. Alright, so 11... Minus one, so that's a ten to find adventure. A what? Oh, that's a ten to find it. Yeah, fuck. I was going to stop. Well, oh, that's not the shop. Hold on. The thing with the with the sign in front of it. Yep. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and go down to uh, Tolia since he went ahead and left first and everything. Okay. And then we'll come back to the shop. Okay. All right. Cool. Tolia. Yes. All right, you have control of yourself. I'm trying to figure out how it is that I can lock y'all's height. Because there's certain things at certain heights I don't want you guys to see. You're just jealous that I'm 6'1". I don't care about controlling a fucking mini and how to turn the camera. Tell me how to no. lock it as a GM. Well, uh, 
Anyway, go ahead. What, what would you like to do? Yeah, I'll go ahead and head uh, up towards the garden. So I will turn Tolius around and start off on the walk in that direction. And just stop me if I need to stop. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going all the way to the garden. And uh, right at the edge of the garden, I'm going to come over here and lay my morning star and shield down. And then I'll uh, approach the old man in the garden. Okay. As I approach, I'm just going to sort of wave my hand and say, Hello there! Uh, you approach him and he has leaned over the dirt there, pulling potatoes out. All right, then. Excuse me, sir. Is there any chance I can help you with your task today? What is that? Uh, is there any chance I can help you with your tasks today? Uh, no, no, I, I don't need any flasks today. Thank you. Ah, yes. I see. <clears throat> And you eat it, eat it, eat it. If you want to pull some, pull some carrots out, you can maybe do that. Ah, uh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Does he speak like like pig Latin? Or <laughs> I was speaking <laughs> mumbling, <laughs> and the old man oh. heard what he wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right, then I'll I'll help with the carrots. Okay. Um. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it to be super riveting. All right, go into the store. <laughs> All right then. Enjoy your carrots. Go into the store. Whoop, whoop. Enjoy your carrots. What? Store time. <laughs> ah, a lizard folk. Good day to you, sir. How may yep. I help you? That's me. I'm a lizard folk. All right. Yep. Hey, That's how nice. are you doing? Questionable, actually. Hearing that. Oh, I thought that was a statue. This roof needs to get out of my way. Oh, I'm, I'm, shit. I only have like a tiny hole in the roof to look through. So, what the uh, fuck is this piece of shit doing? What? Uh, so, uh, what do you sell here? Uh, what exactly is it you need? Well, you know, uh, always looking to get better gear for fighting monsters and villains alike. Could also do with some, you know, good survival tools or something good for hunting, you know, just... You know, it's a regular kind of stuff. Well, over on the table there, I have some weapons and scrolls and such. Uh, if you would like, I have a uh, old rug pile kind of sitting over there. No one seems to really like those. I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> a rug. <laughs> How much? It's a Rug, I'll sell it to you for. I mean, those things have been sitting there forever. So I'll tell you what, I'll sell you a rug for five copper. All right, uh, he takes a rug. You gonna carry that big rug? Yeah, and he flexes to show that he can carry it. No, no, I'm just saying, like, what are you going to do with the rug? All right, can I do an Arcana check to see <laughs> if it'll fly? It's coming. I know the barbarian shouldn't do arcana checks, but can I do an arcana check? <laughs> sure. 
Oh, where where the, the fuck, fuck did, did it go? go? Well, it was the 14. between the building. 14. My, so that's a 13. <laughs> um, they they look like they're, they are dusty because they've been sitting there for a while. They're old, just rugs. Uh, looks like, like there may be some gnats inside them. Nothing really too magical about them. I'd, I'd like to uh, investigate <laughs> to see if uh, there are any markings that would indicate Kate, that they're from uh, big industries. Okay. Check the glove box for a death pamphlet. <laughs> oh, That's no. a six. Oh no. <laughs> um, with with it being rolled up and dusty and stuff like you, they are, you, you can't see anything going on. Do I get advantage given that I was the goblin at some point? No. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you you can, weren't can he, around for when he brand it has big branding. Can so. he carry all three of them just to be safe? Are you just gonna buy rugs anytime that one is around? Yeah, cause I mean, what if one of them can fly? <laughs> what are you gonna do with them if they don't? <laughs> well, fucking throw them away. But you're okay. saying I'll, I'll I mean, buy. You- I'll buy the rugs and then like have a wizard or something fucking check them for me to see if they're magical. If they're not, I'll get rid of them. Wait. Okay. Heavy. It, what if it can fucking fly? Is this how what you start a fly? fucking flooring business? <laughs> I would love to be, come to your home and do some interior decorating. Just to be clear, um, the one building you've been in has a rug in it. You saw it. It was in the living <laughs> space. Yeah, but but it wasn't for sale. That's the thing. If it's for sale, then that means it's special. <laughs> or they're just getting rid of it. Here's the thing, Milos. Milos isn't. He doesn't have a lot of wisdom. Uh, apparently, <laughs> this motherfucker goes to Gardner Way. He's like, "Ooh, something special." <laughs> Lord. All right. He. I mean. Uh, but but yeah, can, can he? he can, you can, can he fit all those in his inventory? The rugs? Yeah. Not to carry a... Well, how much can you carry, actually? Let me know how much weight you can carry. Total. I can carry... I can carry 255 pounds. But I can push, drag, or lift 510. So I could drag them behind me if I needed to. Oh my to. god. <laughs> Excuse me. Tracking 510 pounds seems fucking insane, by the way. Yeah. Plus, I don't think that's sustained. All right, can I, can I, like, so none of them look magical, is what you're saying? Uh, Yes, I said that none of them look magical. And none of them seem to have any kind of tagging on them. Do you still want to buy them? I'll let you buy them. I mean, Tullius can carry one. I'm not going to carry rugs that don't have a purpose. They might have a purpose! Hold on, let me see. I have... Okay, fuck it. I will carry your dusty-ass shit if you... (laughs) If you're (laughs) so convinced. You will carry your shit. I'm not carrying literal Hey, nothing else. If we we camp out, we have, like, a nice rug. That will be good for... Keeping the, the cold ground from us. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, take them out. <laughs> yes. Are these rugs magical by any chance? Um, they magically make your flooring more comfortable. <laughs> I just didn't know if they were flying carpets. Yeah. Literally, they were bought in bulk for the houses that were built around here, and nobody else has decided to buy, build a new house. So they've just kind of been sitting here. Are you Milo's interested size. in buying one? Well, I was hoping they could fly, but oh no, I, that's I. I, I unfortunately, I don't. I don't specialize in. I believe they can touch the sky. Many magical things. I think about it every night and day. All right, what do you got? That's uh, what do you got besides regular carpets? Uh, spread uh, my wings and fly away. I've got a mace, an axe, a dagger, a short sword, some scrolls, and some books. What are the scrolls? 
Uh, are any of those weapons better than what he already has? Let's see here. Uh, you have a great sword, which is better than a short sword. You have a hand axe, which is basically the axe that's there. You have a javelin that's better than a dagger. Um, and then the mace exists, but again, your great sword is better than that. So, and I can't use the scrolls. I don't think so anybody can use the scroll. Yeah, that's All that, right, what it, are the it's scrolls? It's just like a, it's just like Elder Scrolls. That, that's the whole point of scrolls. Fuck not being um, able to do magic. One of them is blank. It's just a regular writing scroll. And then the sorry, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> sorry. Um and the other two if this page would load for me. <sighs> Uh, one of them is a Blade of Ward scroll. Does it ward blades, or does it make a ward made of blades? A Blade Ward scroll. So what... It, it, you extend your... Okay, well, you don't have to worry about this first part. Until the end of your next turn, you have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage dealt with uh, a weapon that attacks you. Interesting. That could be useful. Could be useful. What else they got? The other scroll, uh, since there are three there. So I guess this would technically be the uh, last one. Get to it. Uh, the last one is... The scroll of steel wind strike. Uh, this requires a weapon in order to use. Um, and when used, you can choose up to five creatures you see within range and make a melee spell attack with the weapon you're wielding. On a hit, the target takes 6d10 force damage. And then you're allowed to teleport to an unoccupied space you see within 5 feet of one of those targets you hit. Oh my, you almost... Whoa. How much for these scrolls? Uh, the empty one I'll sell to you for... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll cut it back. Two copper. Two copper? He picks up the uh, empty scroll. Okay. Maybe That's it pretty actually has a spell. That's pretty impressive. I mean, this is clearly a scroll of invisibility. You can't see the ink. <laughs> clearly, yes. Perfect, yes. So, it would be two copper for that one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, the... <sighs> other two. Um, let's see here. Get this too. I believe I can fly. Woo! Touch. God. Think of a Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow, follow my <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> um, the scroll of of a uh, blade ward. We're going to have to go at a uh, hundred gold. And then, um. Well, the scroll of Steel Wind Strike, we're going to have to go for about uh, 5,000. Uh, Milos, Milos checks uh, his manly fanny pack <laughs> and realizes there's not enough gold in there. 
Um, I'll just take the invisibility scroll. Oh, perfect. Two copper, then. All right, he pays two cop, thinking to himself, you know, in his own head, yeah, sucker. <laughs> two <laughs> copper for invisibility. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess if uh, he doesn't have anything else and those carpets are truly not magical, just, you know, sort of going to confirm that they're not magical, then I guess that's it. Um, what was your investigation check earlier? That was a 13, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so um, just to kind of cover everything else that you see as you're walking around, uh, that bookshelf to your right right now has some books on it. Um, and then behind him, you see a shelf full of bottles of some kind of red liquid. Ooh, what are these bottles? No, uh, sorry. Um, this is for people who live here. Please be very careful with those. Those are very important to the town. What does it do? That is a need-to-know basis type of information. And luckily for you, you are not part of the list that needs to know. Are you luckily? Yes. All right, I'm just going to spitball, okay? Okay. All right, you're in a creepy cloak and you got vials of red liquid behind you. Is everyone in the town vampires? It is not blood, no. Okay, just... He didn't answer I that question. <laughs> can promise you that they are not vampires. Uh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. If... Turian, the player, doesn't feel comfortable with the answer, then you can roll an investigation check to see if he is fibbing. Uh, investigation or insight? Uh, insight, yeah, go ahead and give me insight. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, wow. What's my insight? Ooh, plus three! That's a 19, Dracula. That's... He is not lying about vampires or blood. It is not blood, it is not vampires. Well, if you're not lying, then surely you'll be able to look in this mirror real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Axis? Where's Axis when you need her? Failing to kill Jerry, apparently. Well, um... Alright. Uh, you're not vampires. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, never met a vampire before, but... I pray you never do that. I'm just saying, you got the red liquid behind you, and you're in the creepy black robe. It's just hard not to make that connection. Mm -hmm. Werewolves? I'm, s I'm no. sorry? No, not okay. Just. I'm going to go. <laughs> If there's anything else that you need, please let me know. My store is only open during the daytime. The fuck? Okay. Have a good day. And you as well. Welcome to Ironwood. That was oddly ominous. <laughs> oh, well, probably nothing. Goodbye. Oh, shit, I need to... Good day. Oh. Oh, did you want to say something? Good day. Hello. How, uh, how has your time here in Ironwood been? How? What the fuck was that? Uh, like a, like a fucking, uh, a shingle falls off the roof and hits him on the head. <laughs> Ow! They're made of hay. What happened? Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Magic. What the fuck? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Control yourself. Well, what did I do? No, not you. Oh. So, um, you're enjoying your stay here? Oh, I... Ow. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I, I am. I can't wait to, you know, get, you know, get to work tomorrow and try my hand at this, uh, 
iron wooding. Perfect. Well, have you been told when to come out and join everyone for uh, the the uh, chopping of the wood? I don't. I don't think so. But it would be good to know. There will be a bell that rings in the morning. If you hear it, that is that means it is time. That's honestly when my shift starts. So, um, when you hear that, make sure you you wake up and come on out. You'll see everybody kind of making their way out towards the forest, and uh, the hunting party should be done for the night, and they should be coming back in. I am so excited. This feels like the ultimate test of strength. Chopping down an ironwood tree? I mean, it's a tree made out of wood, made out of iron. That's got to be pretty tough. They are pretty tough. Do you oh, have a uh, weapon that can chop them down? Well, I have this axe. Yeah. Where do I get a weapon that can chop it down? Need to go to that gentleman down there. That guy? Yeah. The guy standing around for some stupid reason. All right. Yeah, I'll get myself some uh, quality lumberjack gear. Perfect. I thank you for your help. You're very welcome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go back over to Ayla real quick. Yeah. Ayla. Hello. Little nature. Well, a nature check for me. Okay. Sorry, I had to refine my character. What is going on tonight? As Jesus. A that's a that's a six. <laughs> Try it again. Holy shit, that went all over the place. That's a that's a dirty ass twenty. <laughs> okay. So walking around the forest, you find um there there are no real issues like you've had before last time you ventured out into the forest. Um, there are squirrels and birds. Uh, the interesting thing uh, that you find while you're walking around is these squirrels have adapted Shit. to make their homes out of these trees. Their teeth seem to be stronger than a normal squirrel's. Holy shit. And as you look around, the birds in the area have even adapted. They seem like um, their talons are <laughs> buffer. Fucking sick. Um, they almost give off a metallic sheen at the claws. Jesus. Okay. Question. Yes. I'm a druid. Can I can I commit these particular variations of the animals to memory? I mean, uh, whenever you turn into a dog, you get to pick what kind of dog you turn into. Yeah, baby. Okay, I would like to formally commit that the, that bird to memory. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so you are committing an Ironwood Sparrow? Is there... I, I like to look around. Is there, uh, like, hawks available? Are, are there any hawks that have <laughs> similar similar increase? Because obviously, like... You gave me a dirty 20, so yeah, I'll give it to you. There, were, there are some hawks higher up in the uh, trees. Do they also, uh... They also have like the increased uh, talons and whatnot from having to hunt the stuff that has increased talons. Uh, yes, because um, you're watching. You're watching as you walk around these animals doing what they're doing, and um, a hawk happens to have snatched up one of these squirrels and is tearing it apart. And you're walking by, and it's just it's it's. One of those gruesome scenes of nature that just, yeah, they just happen. fucking grip it and rip it, basically. Except yeah, it and, and, and a piece of the squirrel falls down to the ground where you're at. And you lean over and kind of examine it. Um, and this, this squirrel... Its, it's bones have even changed. Holy shit. Um, and just all over genetically, these animals inside the forest have changed in, in quite ridiculous ways where um, <laughs> you look back up and through the blood and meat that this hawk is uh, devouring from the squirrel, you see there's a metal tip on the end of its beak. Oh, holy Damn. shit. Damn. That's sick as hell. And it bites down into the squirrel's body, and you hear a loud crack from the bone. God. Oh, baby. So, whenever you take on this form of hawk, you're going to get a plus two to piercing damage whenever you use the beak to dive down. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> yeah, please write this stuff down. Oh, shit. Uh... Druid character, you will need to write this down if you plan on using it. Okay. Pad open. Okay. Iron wood hawk. Plus two piercing. Hmm? Yeah, plus two damage. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just give you plus two damage when using the beak. Of the hawk. Just all, all around. And, well, just plus two for an ironwood hawk. How about that? Alright, alright, alright. For claws, all right. for beak. Um, and whenever you take on an ironwood animal form, you get a plus two to AC. Of the creature. So if you can find the creature in this forest, and it is an alteration of an ironwood form, then that means that you will get the plus two to damage. Okay, okay. And a plus two to AC. Oh, holy shit, that's sick. All right, I want to spend the entire day, I want to catalog just everything. I want to catalog as much shit as I can fucking. Uh, okay. Um. So going from these animals, you even see things like butterflies. Okay. That their wings have a metallic sheen to them. Uh, I'd like to. I'm like writing this all in like a like a book, like a little like notebook type thing. Gotcha. Okay. Like a like basically like a like a like a, like a researcher, like an actual like. I think like Professor Oak in the movie, the the fourth movie, like when they go back in time. Has a deep cut, I think. Did, did anybody get that one? Has anybody seen that movie, the Celebi one? It's been forever since I have seen it. Yeah, it's ironic you should say that because that's the name of the movie. <laughs> it's, Poke it's Pokemon Forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. So, 
Um, we'll wrap back around to you, Ayla, while we go over to the garden. Oh boy. Garden. Yes. At this point, the old man goes over with the basket of potatoes, puts it on the cart, and just kind of stands there leaning up against it, giving himself a break for a bit. Okay. Tolius will bring over his collection of carrots from the ground and uh, will motion as if to put the saying, like, do I put them in here? I think the answer is yes, because I already see carrots in the cart, so... Well, would you like to use your context clues, or would you just like to ask him? I'll, I can just use the context clues. Perfect. All right, he'll put the he'll put the carrots in the cart. Okay, so you look at the basket of potatoes in there, and you realize that it's not full. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Who I feel to fit the material? Yeah, you go right ahead and go get more potatoes, if you please. Dinner's gonna be big tonight. Hi. Oh, go back over to the potatoes. Okay. I'll start going after them. Okay. While you're digging through the potatoes, I want you to go ahead and give me a um investigation check. Oh boy. Yeet. Uh, mulligan. Okay, 13. Okay. There's a mole that's down in the garden. Ah! Okay. Um. I don't have my backpack with me and all my other stuff's down there. Alright, uh... I mean, shit, I'm perfectly... There's a shovel leaning up against the post. Okay. Behind the old man. I'm not against using it, so I guess I will uh, grab the shovel, go back to the potatoes. And, uh, since I have literally done this before, I'm going to see if I can agitate it to try to bite the end of the shovel without destroying the crops that are already in the ground. Okay. Uh, roll an animal handling check. Uh, okay. I'd say 11. Okay. Um, you agitated enough, it grabs on. Alright, I will pull the shovel out. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to flick up, flick it up as best I can. Okay. And when it comes back down to about where I want it, I'm going to slam it with the shovel. Okay, give me an athletics check. Athletics, all right. I can I can work with that. A twenty-one. Okay, you flick up and slam down so hard the mole splats into the potatoes. Ah, good fertilizer. I'm hoping the old man did not hear that. I feel like that might have been a little gruesome. Comes down with a splat and a. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> As the air escapes its body. Well. Alright then. Uh, I guess I'll get back to picking potatoes. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take out the potatoes as best I can. <laughs> <laughs> try not to get any blood on them. <laughs> try to, try okay. to mix that around in the dirt first, I suppose. You get... You definitely get enough... Uh... Potatoes to finish filling the basket. All right, then I will come back over here and drop off the potatoes in the cart. Okay. You have a mole farm. Oh yeah, you saw my mole friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I call him Tom. He likes to play around and set traps. He likes to what with the traps? Play around and set traps. 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> How strong do you think you are? <laughs> oh no, I feel bad. How, how strong do you think you are? <coughs> hey, you know, middling. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm alright. I do good for myself. Think you could carry a pumpkin? Think I could bury a pumpkin? Carry. Carry, yeah, of course. What do you say? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, yeah. Perfect. What about a horse? You go ahead and get one of them pumpkins over there and you bring it over here and we're going to take it inside. All right. All right, uh, I guess I will, uh, lift this pumpkin. Perfect. Since I'm not carrying my backpack, that's like half the weight off of me, so. Unless this pumpkin is, uh, 156 pounds, I think I'm okay. Okay. <coughs> we'll leave the produce there, but you guys are going to go insured. Okay. I'm in a tree. Okay, there we go. That's a cool telescope there. I'm a little curious about it. Oh, hey! The roof disappeared whenever I entered the room. I didn't even have to do that. I don't like that. You're inside. People are drinking. Woo! Here, hold on. Let me, let me give you a little bit of light. I said forgot to add lights into this area. Did you activate your torch? Yeah. I'll turn okay. it off. No, it's fine. You can have it on. Okay. Boop. Oh, God. Boop. 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 There. All right. Boop, boop. <sighs> so you guys take it inside. Uh, he's carrying the carrots. And he comes in here. All right, Adeline, here's your carrots. Comes in here, sets them over on this table. Okay. Uh, where do you want the pumpkin? Oh, uh, well, I wasn't expecting that to be coming in here just yet, but. Uh, I guess go ahead and put it on the side of that table over there. All right, then. And he'll he'll carefully make sure that the blueberries or whatever that is on the table is uh, out of the way. And uh, put the pumpkin on the table. Ah, uh, you know what, actually? I'll tell you what. You go ahead, put it on in this plot closet. I'll, make, I'll try and remember to make sure. All right, then. Okay, he'll uh, set it down. Okay. And uh, then leave the supply closet. Okay. All right. And potatoes live down there. I'm going to go ahead and go get them again. I'll help. That's weird. Mm. If I'm right here, I can see the that guy. The guy cleaning the glass. What if I move on? Because there's a window. Oh, that's a... Oh, I'm I'm silly. Okay, gotcha. A, a serving window, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. Back out, say... Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> go, fine, shut up. <laughs> go outside, you get the potatoes, okay, go back in. Yeah. And you... Wee! Holy crap, calm down. Speed racer. Alright. Oh, not there. Uh, potatoes, where would you like them? Yeah, back in there. All right. right, all right then. Back in the supply closet. Fuck's sake. All right, I'll set the, I'll set the potatoes down, and then I would, uh, 
I would like to open the door again. <laughs> I'd like okay. to open the door again. Okay. Please let me out. Okay. All right, thank you. All set. Well, perfect. Thank you very much, darling. Uh, Go ahead and grab yourself a ham pastry on your way out. Oh, well, very kind of you. All right, Tolius will grab a hand pastry and uh, uh, say thank you once again before heading out. All right, perfect. Um, you head on out, and before you leave the place, the old man comes over. Well, thank you very much for your help. Uh, here's just a little thank you. Oh, gosh, and he goes see. ahead and hands you a little, uh, he puts his hand out. Like grabs your empty hand that doesn't have the hand pie in it, and he puts uh he puts four copper in your hand. <laughs> All right. Ah, thank you, sir. But I did not do this for a reward. But this is helpful. Yes, and then he also hollers back. some. He also hollers a. Hey, why don't you go ahead and get in the beer right here and get you married? You should. Fuck up, Jimbo. Here. Uh, yes? I'm assuming you put the money in your pocket. Uh, yeah. Okay. He hands you an ironwood mug. <gasps> Takes his change and rolls it up in his rug. With ah. a, uh, With a cold... Cold, fresh pour. Ah! <gasps> The old man is a man after my heart. All right, now go about your way. Can do. Thank you for this. I will uh, consume the beer for the nice bit of work that I have done. Okay. Am I in the con save area, or am I doing something? Or am I not? No, you just. Well, I guess you did work in a garden. Go ahead and yeah, go ahead and roll. All right, the things I do to myself. That's a ten. Okay, it's a good beer. Um, it's refreshing on a uh, cool mid morn. A little early for hand drinking, pie. I suppose, but this is nice. Yes, with the hand pie. What flavor is it? Uh, the hand pie is. What flavor would you like it to be? Blueberry is my favorite kind. Then blueberry it is. I you never would have guessed. See the blueberry, uh, the blueberries inside. So blueberry hand pie. Cool. All right. I never would have guessed that either. That's new to me. No, I was just, bro. You come on. You know that reference, huh? Blueberry is my favorite kind. Melted butter in the middle is a fine time time. Come on. I know you. Oh know. yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just because you're blue. No 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 no. That's not. That's not Natch. No, I, I got you. I got yeah. you. All right. Uh, going around the circle, since we have scooby doo the town. But it'll get things done quicker, I guess, in a way. Um, <laughs> we come back around to Milos. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm looking for some quality tools to go lumberjacking. Perfect. You got a visa? <laughs> right here. Sorry, Perfect. only MasterCard. <laughs> well, since you got a visa, you paid for it, so... You got a standard uniform, and you got your tool. He's going to go ahead and give you... Yep, he's going to give you... Uh, after me measurements and such... He's going to give you a uniform, which is dark blue jeans, a red and black flannel, and suspenders. All right, I'm making the Hero Forge mini. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to be able to download it by the time that you guys are. But you got to have it anyways. Yeah, I guess you can. Sure. And then um, he hands you a iron wood axe. 
Who the fuck just shot me? Had to be my brother because he just shot Milos as well. I didn't. I didn't shoot you. Eli shot Milos. Milos looks suspiciously at the shirt as if he knows he's not going to be able to fit into it even after he was measured. But he'll give it a try. Okay. Does the shirt fit? Yes. Whoa. Okay, what if he flexes? Yes. Alright, yeah, I'm going to roll the flex. Okay. Yeah, big flex. That's a... That's plus strength. Uh, so that's a that's a sixteen to flex. Uh, how well does the shirt hold up to that? Um, it holds up perfectly fine. There's no issue with yeah, this shirt holding up. Shirt. By the gods, this is an extremely high quality flannel. Shirt. I've never seen such a thing. I've never seen a shirt that fits before. Uh, yeah, we uh, kind of pride ourselves on it. Whoa. Part of the reason it's part of the recommended uh, uniform. All right, he, he will wear it proudly. And this is the Ironwood Axe, right? Sure is. Whoa. Just don't go swinging inside the buildings or towards the buildings, please, because these buildings are, after all, made of ironwood. Gotcha. Well, uh, is there anything else I might need or need to buy or anything like that? Mm. I think of what else, honestly. I don't think there's anything. Just make sure you wake up to the bell. Oh, I'll be there. I'm so excited. Perfect. Ouch. Ow. Farewell. Have a good night. Tullius. Yes. Check out my new threads. Looks nice. Represents the town, I believe. Oh, I was actually... Flex. Right, yes, of course, you want to flex in it. You look good. I was Thanks, actually I on... needed to hear that. I was actually on my way to get a uniform as well. You're coming too? Well, yes, I helped the... Uh, I helped Julius in the garden with some of the town's crops. For dinner tonight. And, Ooh. uh, yes, I was planning on helping with the ironwood. Gotta make some money to be able to pay our, uh, our costs for the bed and breakfast. Guess what? I just got the bargain of a lifetime. Yes. I just got an invisibility scroll. Right, yeah. How did you get that? I didn't think we were flush with cash. Yeah, that's the thing. It was only like two go two copper. I don't think that's legitimate, but okay. Milo, Milo shows him the scroll. This is empty. <laughs> no. You see, the ink is invisible. Do you do you know how to prove if there's invisible ink? Um... Lemons? I... But would that work on magical I, invisible ink? I haven't seen anything like that. Uh... But, you know... Okay. Look, the town merchant in the creepy black robe said that was an invisibility scroll. Are you sure he wasn't trying to fleece you? No, he was honest about the carpets not being magical, so he was probably honest about this. 
Look, I'm, I'm just a little... Uh, we should probably get it checked out before you go using that thing. He also had a whole shelf full of red liquids, but he promised me it wasn't blood. That was weird. You're concerning me. Why am I concerning you? I just... Again, let's have that checked out before you go using it. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you saying someone could trick me? It's likely. Oh, why is that? I'm not getting into that right now. Oh, he's not getting into it right now. Yes, okay. I'm on the way to get my uniform I see you wearing. So Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, is this who you talked to, uh, Milos? Yes. All right, then. Hello, sir. Hello. I, uh, like my friend here, am going to be assisting with the ironwood uh, lumbers, uh, lumbering tomorrow. I have my... Oh. Uh, yes. All right. Well, then I guess you're going to need a uniform. Yes. I, uh, yes, I do. He's going to go ahead and measure you up, give you your uniform, give you your axe. All right, um, here's your uniform. Make sure you wake up at the bell. Can do, sir. All right, then. Milos looks like I got my uniform. Very nice. <coughs> okay. Well, you guys have done all that. Ayla. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have hit, uh, time-wise, let's say we have hit... Let me move time forward here. We hit a point where the uh, gentlemen out in the woods are making their way back. Great, I am making my way back. I don't want to be in the fucking forest after dark. Okay. I don't trust it. You don't trust me? Is that what you just said? I said I don't trust it. Oh, okay. I thought you said I don't trust you. <laughs> I was about to, <laughs> about to be like, oh, okay, well, I guess I can get that. No, no physics. <laughs> no physics. I really want to see it tumble down. Okay. Um, while out there, you documented small uh, wildlife around the area. Um, and with your dirty 20, uh, you even happen to see a couple of beasts out there. Couple of beasts. Were they ironwood beasts? Were they were they this infamous hog we've been hearing so much about? Uh yes, there was a hog. Okay, okay. Was it an ironwood hog? Yes. Alright, alright. Um, they're quite large, and the tusks, just like the beak of the hawk, are tipped. Nice, nice. All right, so I have the hawk, the hog, and the squirrel it was, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Were there any other features specifically that I saw in my... Uh, I have cataloged. Yes. Okay, what were they? Um, there was a black cat up in the trees that you saw. Yeah? This black cat had tail, uh, had a tail that branches off into multiple tails. And it was watching you. Spooky. Okay. That's 
distressing. I think I'm understanding why the, uh, <laughs> why we need the, uh, what do you call it, the board at night? Oh yeah, there was a sparrow too. A sparrow. Right. So, um, with that, everyone, you've gathered your supplies, looked around, worked, bought some things. Yeah. Um, everyone seems like they are heading towards the main uh, building. All right. <laughs> A lot of minis. What? Just the way <laughs> Halo was moving. Oh my wamu, Shinderu. Shit, soccer. Okay. You guys get inside and And oh, shit. So we were inside. Are you guys going inside? I thought you said you Is were everyone inside. waiting outside or are they going in? No, they're, they're, they're uh, no, I'm just having to move a whole bunch of minis. Fair enough. Okay. Like I may not move. I may just move enough to make it look crowded in there. Honestly. Wait. Oh shit. The party going on. I'm missing it. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys a chance. Pick a table. Uh. I'm either in favor of this one here or this one here. I guess this one here. Okay. Uh, Over uh, here, Milosh. Yeah, Milosh wants to make some friends with the local. Bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh well, I hate better not presume. Uh, before he sits with Tully, he's, he's you know he's just gonna sort of walk the room, just sort of see what's going on. Okay. Uh, there are obviously gentlemen who basically came straight here from being out in the forest that are drinking and celebrating their time. Uh, there are uh, some people that you guys have met throughout the town. You've got the uh, lady who is renting the uh, bed and breakfast to you guys. You've got the old man who uh, was out farming. Uh, the gentleman who is cleaning a mug is the guy that basically is running this place. Uh, you can see through the window there's a lady in the back who's cooking. Uh, there are a couple of people from the cruise that decided to stay in town. Instead of uh, taking it back around to... Alora. And um, as time 
goes on, people will change out and uh, such. But for now, this is basically what you got here. Uh, I guess Milos will make his way, you know, sort of casually greeting people. You know, not being too assertive, but just being like, "How you doing?" Hello. Everyone is very cordial and kind. Um, the people from the cruise Hello. you uh, happen to run into a few times on the cruise. Um, one time it was uh, the gentleman was actually drunk, puking, and the lady was rubbing his back trying to comfort him, uh, just from how much drinking he had been doing and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's that. They're pretty, pretty nice. All right, well, no one's invited him to sit with them, so he's going to go sit with Talius. Hey, guys. Ah, ah made your way around. Maybe yeah, you know, interesting. Uh, you know, just our regular guys. Some people we saw on the cruise. Some people saw around town. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I would like it noted that I did pick up my stuff before I left the garden. Okay. Just in case that would somehow come back to bite me. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ayla. <laughs> So Talia says, I was scammed. I, I said we should have it he checked. Ha he, hands, he hands her the scroll. I got a great deal on this invisibility scroll. No. He says it's not a real invisibility scroll. I just said no. it's... <laughs> Fuck it. Ayla, look at it. Who, did the person you bought it from ever tell you it was an invisibility scroll? I deduced it myself, and he confirmed my suspicions. And how much did you pay for it? Two copper. That is not a real invisibility scroll. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, they would not sell it that cheap. Let me let me ask you this, uh, Milos. How how powerful of a spell is an invisibility spell? Would you happen to know that? No. All right. Fair enough. I don't either. Would, Ayla, do you know? I, uh, like third level or something? Okay, I, I guess understand. That, we can work off that assumption. I just don't understand why he would lie. Um, a lot of people have a lot of reasons for lying, Milos. But what does he get out of lying? Okay. Uh, he gets two copper for a piece of paper. If it is a piece of paper. You know, this is a pretty messed up system you got here. What are you talking about? Well, he literally lied just to get some shiny coins. Okay. As Don't you think that's kind of messed up? Yes, but uh, then again, you were also the one who fell for it. Whoa. I'm not saying it's exactly... Also, okay, it's looking like he tricked himself. He, didn't, he said himself he deduced it. It sounds like he tricked himself. Hmm. Look, I'm not magically fluent, okay? I don't know. Well, did you even delve into the Arcana to see if that may be the case, if it has some sort of magic attached to it? No. Well, yeah, if you want me to, I'll uh, I'll take a look. I'm not an expert in this in this uh, area, though. Go for it, and then you'll see. I'll maybe see if it's got some sort of magic attached to it. Is that all right if I roll for Arcana DM? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, it's a flat you thirteen. Really, really struggled to get to the ground there. <laughs> yeah. I'm zoomed in pretty close. But yeah, 13. No, 13 for uh, what again? Arcana. 
Right, for what? On the uh, blank piece of paper that... The invisibility scroll. Yeah, the invisibility scroll. To see if it's magical? In any way, yep. It's not showing any innate magical abilities. Okay. Alright. Okay, Milos, I've, I've taken a good look at this. And I'm sorry to say it doesn't seem to show any magical abilities attached to it. You know, that sort of thing never would have happened back home. No one would lie about something like that. That's messed up. Well, plenty of people, again, like I said, have reasons to lie. Pretty rotten reasons, you ask me. Well, it was just two copper, you know. That's a, that's a fairly low price for a lesson to learn. Everybody made me look like an idiot. Only in the privacy of the, of you and him. Sure, your your you may your honor may be impacted in this in this one moment, but it's okay. It's a small lesson to learn. Yeah, I guess. Besides, I I think we can enjoy ourselves here. I'm quite ready for a meal. In fact, uh, while I was working in the garden today, I ended up getting this uh, one of those famous ironwood mugs. They even gave me a fresh top off for it. It was a fairly good brew. What about you, Ayla? Anything interesting today? Uh, so the wildlife has been evolving alongside the trees. Uh, they are much tougher, more resilient, and also like everything. Everything is sharper. Just everything is sharper. Well, I suppose that makes sense for... So don't get attacked by any animals. They will mess you up. That sounds about right. <coughs> well, good to know there's a diverse wildlife here. Good people, too. Except for that one, man. Oh, shit. Thing with your fidget spinner. Yes. When am I not? Let's be honest. Huh. Yeah, that guy was kind of shifty anyway. I mean, he was seriously running a shop in a full black cloak with the hood covering his whole face. Well, isn't that a little weird? It's a little. I mean, I don't typically judge people for their clothing choices, but a overall dark place with a person in a dark cloak with, I think you described red bottles. Of well, here's the thing with the red bottles. Here's the thing with that. Okay. You had them lined up on the shelf as if they were something he, he sold to people, right? But he said they're off limits to people that aren't citizens. And he wouldn't tell me why they were for the citizens or what they did. Yes, that's... Isn't that also a little weird? Yes, I would say that's quite weird, but... I don't know. I don't know what goes on in this place. I mean, yeah, maybe it's like a uh, energy drinks. Sensor. Well, then why wouldn't he just say it? Really hard. Well, I mean, if, it's like a proprietary thing, man. You're I mean, like, even, oh, man, even if they're doing steroids, city. I mean, I don't care. So, I mean, that's fine if they're juicing. I just look. I don't know. That guy was messed up. But. When I ace the lumberjacking tomorrow and regain the respect of the town, then all will be right. Hmm. All right. Apple, you are entirely too fast with these fucking hero worship models. I thought the overall cost. Uh, I thought the overall uniform was just blue. No, it was oh, red flannel. Yeah, it was red and black flannel. Oh, sorry. I see, I had it wrong, so that's on me. Jean, jeans are dark blue, the flannel is red and black, and then vendors. Jeans are dark blue, red yellow. flannel. Oh, you know, I should have visited the church. I totally forgot. Now you do it tonight. Ah, oh, shit, there's... He's over here. Though... They probably don't accommodate me over there. What do you mean? 
He said oh, it was man. fairly uh, open. Well, actually, that's a good question for the DM. You know, how common uh, Bahamut love is outside of actual dragon people. Um, in your experience on the way to Alora, not seeing as dragons are non-existent. Yeah, so no love for Bahamut. Yeah, I mean, I mean, nobody. I mean, I don't even see anyone talking about it, much less worshiping. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not here to push anything on anybody. It's just, it's just interesting, you know. But yeah. whatever, I'll see what it's all about. See what they got going on. Okay. Time passes as you guys sit there and eat your uh eat your hog pig hog. and potatoes and carrots and hand pies and such. Um Beers are brought around, or uh, Ayla, since you don't, do you drink beer? I can't remember, actually. I have one. Okay. Uh, so all of you have uh, Ironwood mugs, and the gentleman who runs the place just kind of, hey, uh, just since you're here, <coughs> from what I understand, you're going to be here for a few nights. Just go ahead and hold on to those. Those will be your personal ones while you're here. Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> I'll definitely be sure to hold on to this even when we have left. I actually got this one earlier today. Yes, I gave it to you. Yes. Oh, this is a nice mug. Yes, it is. All right, that craftsmanship of the uh, of the town, I suppose. It feels very weird to give Tullius like modern clothing. How do you think I feel? I'm a fucking dragon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now he's in Urkel suspenders. What do you want? Okay, I am currently falling asleep at the desk, so I am going to head off tonight. Jeez. Okay. Have a wonderful night, Apple. Very happy. Survives the hurricane. Whoa. So we're not going to go too much longer than without certain since it's almost nighttime in game. Alrighty. Um, the dinner being done and you guys having your mugs and everything. Um, what would the two of you like to do? Well, uh. Hmm. You have any ideas there? Well, Milos is going to check out the church. You know, maybe see what all the wood worshiping's all about. Okay. Well, is she gonna? Yeah, I'll go with. Sorry. There we go. Ooh, the ambiance outside. Where's the church? It's right here. Is that the graveyard? Ah. Welcome. Hello. And how can I help you on this fine day? Oh, there's someone up there. Jesus Christ. Well, speaking of Jesus, 
We're in a church. How do you do? It's a beautiful day in Ironwood. Sure is. The, uh... What faith do you practice? Personally, I worship the master of the hunt. He did mention that that was fairly common in this town. Who is the master of the hunt? <clears throat> they are a... Oh. Being who watches over us as we are out marking our ground. Seems pretty straightforward. So, uh, what other faiths do people practice around here? Wood. Wood is very popular around here. Yes. Just like the god of wood or wood as concept itself? Well, it just kind of depends on the person, I guess. It does remind me, you know, the idea of a god of wood. You know, I've heard tales of a god of carpentry. That's a story for another time. But, uh, you know, just sort of wanted to see what was going on here, you know. Uh, this seems like a fine place for prayer. Thank you. I guess it's... Uh, Yes, Milos will do a little prayer for his guy before he goes. Okay. All right, uh, do I need to roll religion? For, to pray? Are you are you actually trying to talk to him right now? Well, I mean, well, I don't know about like I mean, he doesn't have anything specific to say, but he's just like. He's really always praying. doing it like he, he's always doing it like he means it. I mean, if you're just praying to him, you don't you don't have to roll religion for it. Oh, okay. I just I just want to know how good he did. Okay, if you want to roll how good you prayed, then go ahead. What is that? Oh God! Uh, that's a that's a thirty percent uh, prayer quality. So he's. Oh. In, He's not used to these surroundings. Gotcha. Okay. It's a little weird. It smells like wood. Well, Elise, since you said you were going to be looking around, uh, roll a perception check, I guess. I did what now? Okay. Perception? You said you were going to go in there and look around, so. I. Okay. Uh... Oh, what the fuck happened? Why is everything I mean, red? Nighttime. Oh. That's an eight. Okay. Um, looks like this building could hold most of the town. They really wanted to do. Okay. Uh, 
All right. All right. Anything else you guys want to do in the church? Uh, well, if uh, you know, uh, if he Milos did his thing, so I guess he's going to go. Oh, cool. all right. Quickly before the collection plate comes around. There it is. All right, I'm going to assume Alo just went back to the B&B or something. Mm hmm Okay. All right, well, since I do remember it, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Well, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and... I'd like to close the door, and then I want to put the boards up on the door. Okay. I've Still... mentioned it. Huh. Since you mentioned it. Ah, thank you. All right. Oh, she's already here. Okay. Oh, he's bed here. Where's he board up the door? Yeah. So there, there, that thing. There's a shit going down. Yep. Tellies, does this not at all alarm you? Oh yes, it does entirely. But uh, if someone's warning me that something's going on like this, I think it's a good idea to listen. But they're not going to tell us what's going on. Yes, no one has been very forthcoming, but then again, I have not asked any questions. So that's kind of on me. Man, I came here to just be a lumberjack and meet some lumberjacks, and then, oh boy... I mean, I, I guess I am excited to kill some monsters, if that's what it comes down to, but... I bet it's zombies. <laughs> Interesting thought there. You're going through all the motions for... <laughs> well, you know, what else could it be? Well, he does lay down nicely, at least. Except for the floating, but... <laughs> it's because of the cape. Okay. <clears throat> That's it from you guys? I suppose so. Tolius will definitely be asking questions... Uh, tomorrow. Okay. I want to know why the boards to board up the door are hidden if this is like a regular thing people It do. wasn't really, though. It was right next to the front door. Okay, but... but... Okay, there's just something really fucky about this whole situation, though. Yes, I, I understand. Like, if this is a regular, normal, no-big-deal thing, then they would design the doors to not even need to be boarded up. So I don't know what's going on. But I don't care. I'm going to go uh, jack some lumber. And you know, I'll be there too, so. Fun times. Okay. Well. Um. How tired are you guys? You concern me with that statement. I've been working in the garden. I think I'm. Are you kind of like out of character or in character? No, no, no. No, I'm talking about in character. Oh. <coughs> Tolius has done some work today. I mean, Milos hasn't done anything really strenuous at all, so he's not really tired. Okay. You guys go to sleep. <clears throat> After some time, and you 
eventually. Maybe it's got louder than others music playing. Creepy music. Milos. Yeah. You are woken up. By a variety of sounds going on outside. Uh, just pretend the candles are off because there's no way in Tailspire for me to turn the, ta the candles off. Oh, what the fuck? What's going on uh, up there? Something what do you mean something happened? I right clicked and it made a. Uh, it made the. Like, it didn't render anything except for the floor, so that was weird. Oh, if you right click twice on something, it'll. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it'll. <laughs> it'll. It's just a request for me to open the fucking door or something. Holy crap. I want to put my ear to the door and see what I hear. Okay. Well, in a, uh... What the fuck? Where'd that even go? Roll a what? Uh, perception check. Alright, that, that was a 14. Okay, with the 14, you can hear the sounds of large feet running throughout the town. And it's not just one set, it's a lot. Can I, like, just look through the crack, like, maybe, like, a crack in the door or something? Uh, it is a solid-made door, and it is also boarded. I, I see a big hole in the top. Uh, that's possibly because you have the vision set to a certain height or something. Well, no, no, there's like a gap between the door and the roof. Yeah, it's not supposed to be there. No. Oh. That is just <laughs> what... <laughs> that's the way the thing is, unfortunately. I wasn't going to give every single house fancy doors like the main building has. I feel like I should investigate this. But this is boarded up for a reason. Hmm. Uh, is there anything he could gleam besides, you know, heavy footsteps? Uh... I'm looking over some things really quick. Making sure I'm not gonna. Okay. Um. With your check, you hear far off in the distance, um, possibly somewhere in the forest. You're hearing a howl. They're werewolves. I knew it. Uh, okay, so... Is it, like, boarded up, like, with nails and shit? No, the boards just slid into the holster. Hmm. I don't think there's any way for me to reboard it if I walk out. No. Unless you can think of something that. <laughs> well, maybe if I just took a little peek outside. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a peek outside. Well, uh, uh, let's see if I see anything. Okay, so you're going to remove the board and take a peek outside? Yeah. Okay. So, 
you remove the board and take a peek outside. That was a big peek. This is a bad There's idea. no way to open the door partially. Do I gleam anything without being too suspicious? You see off in the distance the nighttime guard is making his paces up and down the main road. And as he turns to make his walk back towards you, here, let me. As he turns to make his walk back towards you, you see a figure that flies past him. Passing the stairs to the main building and going out towards the forest. Wait, so I just see someone lying there? No, they ran past. Oh. The guard is the guard is walking his path. This is weird. And as the guard walks past each set of buildings, another shadowy figure flies past. So I have, so I got like no way of, you know, even discerning what the fuck that was. All right. Shadowy figures flying all around. Guards don't seem to care. There's howling. Red vials of totally not blood. I feel like I'm in some sort of monster mash. Uh, do I do I see anything else? Am I peeking out the door? Uh, there is a pair of red eyes that you see come around the building directly across from you from the forest over in your direction. The eyes look side to side and then they see you. Damn my glowing blue eyes. Uh, you hear a loud snorting noise and a whine, and it starts barreling towards you. I think it's time to lock the door. Okay. And go ahead. All right. I guess evil demon pigs I'll add to the list. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you hit you put the boards in place that thing slams into the door with a loud thud and at this point uh Tullius you wake up uh, God. Ah. Tullius what the fuck is going on uh literally everything is going on right now what did you do I didn't okay you know what I don't appreciate the uh, way shut you up shut that. up what did you do? Something wouldn't be slamming into our door in the middle of the night. As you guys are talking about this, you hear a whine and snorting, and suddenly loud running towards your building. And you can hear the sounds of claws slashing into flesh and wines coming from what sounds like a pig. Dude. That's All fucked right. up shit happening. Tolius runs and grabs his uh, equipment. That's not even half of it. There are like these 
black shadowy figures flying across so the place. So you open the, the fucking door. Care. I peeked outside. Why? When I heard, because there was a disturbance outside. Why wouldn't I check it out? Because why, despite the advice we were giving you, just like, yeah, no, I want to take a look. Like, Curiosity well, killed the cat man. Well, you know, I'm just a little suspicious of everything that's going on in this town. That's cool. We can find it out if we are alive. They're not going to tell us anything. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. I'm going to face what's ever out there. Right now. I will literally close the door behind you. Something Look, that was rending flesh. Seems like a smart idea. Tons of things rend flesh. Yeah, animals rend flesh. What's I've that? killed tons of animals. You can hear... more noises as you guys have been talking of... something whining after being... What can only sounds like uh, gorged or gouged, I think gouged would be more appropriate. And just the sounds of flesh and blood just getting cut and torn into. Look, you don't understand. I. So many things have happened in a short amount of time. There was the howling. There were the black shadowy figures flying across the road. There were the red demonic eyes of that pig creature. And now whatever the hell is ripping it to shreds. I mean, this isn't normal. No, do you think? Also, you're way more rude than usual. Because. What did I do? You literally broke the one thing that we were specifically told to do because you were curious, and now there's things outside. Apparently something saw you. All that fun stuff. It's just not a smart play. Not a smart play at all. Yes, I'm curious about why there's some fucked up shit happening, why there's some suspicious shit. Everyone's got their secrets. Best to best Everyone's to follow Everyone's got whatever their thing. secrets. Wow, dude, really? What the fuck Everyone's are you on about? The, everyone, I mean, come on. These are more than just see, the creepy guy in the black robes selling blood-colored potions. Yes, and I'm sure there's a purpose for them. They, oh, I'm sure there's a purpose for them. Look, we got to be proactive dealing with this. Really? I say we deal with it head on instead of waiting for whatever the hell is going on to kill us. Do you hear a bunch of other people screaming outside or something? I mean, not at the moment. Hmm. Not even the thing that's flesh is being rendered? Oh, wait, you do hear whining, I'm sorry. Oh, you guys have actually talked long enough. It's stopped, and oh. you hear footsteps running away. Running away. No fire. He's on werewolves. If it's werewolves, I have not recovered from my injuries yet. I don't think I could face one again. Well, if you need me to fight for you, I'll fight for you. Right. Milos never backs down from a challenge. You seem to not want to back down from suicide sometimes, too. <sighs> Fine. If you're so enthused by this idea, I don't think this is a good one. And besides, it's not like we're going to get in trouble. I bet we could. No one said it was a rule we couldn't go outside. In I fact, think... it was whispered like it was a secret only to you. So how was I to know that I couldn't go outside? I think most people could make the context clues come together to, to realize that's a bad. 
<clears throat> Maybe not illegal per se, but damn. I can't stand by if people are in danger, and I think people are in danger with whatever the hell that is out there. And if it means I die trying to help them, then I die. Uh. Whether you want to follow me is up to you, but I'm going to do what I can to help anyone that's in trouble. Fucking chances are we're too late now. You heard that running away. All right, so you guys are going to uh, remove the board. <sighs> I right. well, I fucking guess. Well, Talius doesn't have to go. And you're going out. All right. What's the pig looking like? What pig? Uh, the, well, I assume it was a pig that got mauled. It was squealing like a pig. He said mm -hmm. something was whining. Well, there's well, a blood trail it? that's uh, leading from your door away to the left. Wonderful. There's a guard there. Where is it? Well, you talk to the guard. Alright, you should be Oh. Well down his path, I know. Alright, so it's leading down to the left. Yep. If you're not sure about this, Tullius, I won't force you. There's Le nothing stopping you from locking the door and leaving me out here. At least light a torch or something. I don't know if you can see at night. That's bullshit. I should have dark vision. <laughs> no, All right. Not every race gets dark vision. We may die, Tullius, but we'll die doing the right thing. I have no intention of dying, so we'll see. Okay. Up. Trail leads to your left down the alley between buildings. Back this way? Mm -hmm. Alright. Can I do a perception check as I look down the alleyway? Yes. Okay. This music certainly sets the tone for this all. That's a uh, 16. Okay. Down the little walkway. You guys see a... Is that one of the shopkeeps? See a gentleman who has been laid open. His flesh torn in just rigid, ragged pieces. He's missing an arm. You can see it's down a ways. And his face has been scratched up in such a way that you can't tell for sure who it is. Okay. His intestines have been splayed out. And it looks like a chunk of him is missing. Okay. Milosh, I'm seeing a very broken person over there. Entrails everywhere, body parts everywhere. All the more reason to stop whatever's doing this. I'm... Mm, reluctant. You don't want to help them and stop this evil monster. That person's probably dead. Do I want to stop the monster? Yes, but I have other goals that are also taking priority. <sighs> I'm 
What do you mean? Like what? What? what not what something. Not something for this discussion or this time. Should we go in? Fuck it, I'm going in. I'm gonna cautiously approach the person. Okay. As you walk past, you see there's a nail. I'm using your previous perception check. Ooh. There's a nail that is kind of jutting out of the side of the building you guys are staying in. Oh. And it has a chunk of uh, flesh on it with gray hair. All right, I'll I'll take the nail out of the si uh, the siding here. Okay. Uh, and I would like to look at this person. I assume because they are in such a, a horrific state, they are not breathing. Uh, yes, they're they're okay. dead. All right. All right, then I'm gonna leave the alleyway. Come back to Milos. Okay. I found this nail. That man is certainly dead. Have you seen anyone with gray hair in this town? Uh, Perhaps Julius had gray hair, but that's... Well, I can't tell if that's Julius. Hmm. I mean, the guy in the cloak, I couldn't see any of his features. Yes, but you made him... He's assume... the creepiest guy here. Yes. So you would assume he's dead? You would assume oh, he's oh. responsible. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying, he's on the suspect list. Fine. Uh, hmm. Trust me, if you met him, you'd agree. Alright, I'm trying to think other things we can look into. Uh, can I look at the hair and uh, try to identify if it's uh, werewolf hair? Um, sure. Oh. It's not very good. Okay. Uh, that's five. Oh. Um, it actually doesn't look much like Wolf at all. Looks, uh to be human. Well, I don't know. So here's my concern, okay? Is normally I would love to take this up with the guards, but pretty sure the guards are in on whatever's going on. Because when I was watching they were nonchalantly walking and patrolling while all of this was going on. And they no doubt would have heard the blood-curdling screams and come running if they were concerned. So... Uh, we're kind of on our own. Uh, if we are found near the body, we will be implicated. Something Why? else to keep in mind. Because our weapons match something that could do this. There's literally, I found a nail of something that most likely did the damage. I'm just saying, if the whole town's in on it and we're found near the body, they could throw us under the bus for, you know, just that reason alone. Well, then why don't we retreat for now and try to figure something out later? All right, hey, let's get out of here before we're seen by anybody. Oh, that's going? not the right one. Back over here. Oops. Oh, you guys, shit. Where are, you guys, where are you guys going? Is it here? Nope, it's the one that you guys were standing in. Remember, you guys literally just stepped outside and went oh, around yeah. the corner. Board's up again. I'm sorry you're not happy with me. I just can't stand by when people are getting hurt. Hmm. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> we'll 
We'll talk about this in the morning. Assuming nothing terrifying happens in the meantime. Man, and I just wanted a nice, casual weekend of lumberjacking. Okay. You guys... Go back to sleep. And next thing you guys know... You hear the bell. Okay. And we will pick up there next time. Alrighty. I think it was werewolves. We haven't even identified the nail that it came from. Werewolves. Okay.